Praise the matchless, miraculous, exalted name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We come in Jesus' name. There's only one name under heaven whereby we must be saved. His death, his burial, and his resurrection. That's the name of Jesus, our Christ. And as we come this evening, we are in Psalm 31, and we're talking about fixing, amen, uh, our fractures. Fixing our fractures. And, and, and one of the things that we, we must understand is that God wants us to approach him for help. We all need help. I know I need I need a lot of help. Okay, I'm faulty, I'm foolish at times, I'm fragmented, I'm, you know, messed up. And God wants us to approach him for help. So the psalmist begins with this this inter, this this intercession for help lord you are my help you are my you are you you are the one that's going to fix my fractures you're my help why do we need to understand that because people are going to the wrong place for help other folk can't help you they got their own stuff and, and listen, we have to see Jesus clearly. We go to him so that he can, listen, by faith, fix our fractures. Lord, and it comes with humility, confession. It comes with a sense of helplessness. Lord, I need help. Everybody can't say that, and everybody won't say that. Lord, I need help. It's not my husband, not my wife, not my children, not my pastor, not my church. It, it's me. It's me. It's me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. I need the power, the anointing of the Holy Spirit to go to God on my behalf. I need help. My fractures are only going to get fixed as my faith reaches out to you for help. It's that initial help that's hindering us from doing everything else. We need help. And what we must be honest with God is, is ask God, what areas do I need help in? I may need help in my thinking. I may need help in my expectations. I, I may need help in my hurts. I may, I may, I need a lot of help from my history. I need help. I need help. It's me, Lord. I need help. I'm stuck in gear. I messed up. I, 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 I see things uh, topsy turvy. I don't, I don't review things the way I should. I don't read my word enough. I don't spend time with you. I don't prioritize you. I need your help. The Lord is my helper. Helper, Paraclete. He comes alongside of us, he walks with us, he talks with us, he, 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 he persuades us. And then he moves from the faith in God to fix his fractures to a focus. And the, and the focus is, is on God's uh, overwhelming presence, peace, and power. So when I focus on who he is, it diminishes who I am. When I focus on who Jesus is, it takes the weight off of me to pull everything off. My focus, my focus, my focus, my focus is you. My focus, and, and David did that a lot in the 70-something songs that he wrote. David did that a lot. If you look at Psalm 51, when he repented, he said, Create in me a clean heart, renew a right spirit within me. For I have sinned against you. I have sinned against God. I have I have fallen short. You know what I mean? And so we have to kind of acknowledge those things. Our focal point, our focal point is for God to fix us. And God wants to fix us. God wants to help us. God wants to restore us. God wants to bring rejoicing in our lives. God, God, God wants to bring us up to where he is, not 
uh, necessarily him coming down to us. He wants us to, he wants to pull us up. There, 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 there's, there's fruit dragging in the ground, dragging in the, in the water. Low, low, low fruit. He, he wants to pull the fruit up. He wants to raise it up. There's things in your life and my life that keeps hitting the mud. God wants to pull us out of the mud. And, and so it, it is a constant focus on God fixing our fractures. Now, let me stop Paul's part by fractures. When you fracture something, they put a cast on, they set the bone, and then you got to wear that cast so many, you know, and then they x-ray it, and, and they say, okay, you're fine now. But it takes time. Fractured bones don't heal overnight. Our fractures don't heal overnight. There are things that have taken place in our lives that we have tailspin for years in. Confidence in who I am, self-approval, liking and loving myself. You understand? Uh, acceptance of myself. If you don't accept yourself, you can't accept others. You, you, you know, we, we are void of certain historical things that have shattered our lives. And you're not going to, you're not going to change overnight. You may even die that same way. We got to keep praying with a focus on Jesus Christ to come alongside of us and overwhelm us with his person, his presence, his power and his peace. The peace of God that passes all understanding will guard and will keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. You know why we keep jumping from one thing to another? Because we don't have no peace. Peace settles you. Peace stops you from worrying. Peace stops you from working uh, on yourself. Peace stops you, amen, from using your own wisdom. Trust, not, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thy understanding. So we, we have to understand that the, the, the initial faith is us coming to God. But the focus is God coming to us. Lord have mercy. Lord, I need you to take over. I need you to be my welfare. I need you to be my strength. I need you to be my victory. I am I I am self-defeating. Every time I think I I I got it, I lose it. Every, every time I think I'm going up, I'm going back down. I need your sense I need a sense of your person, your presence. I need to know you're right here with me. I need a sense of your peace and your power to overcome this stuff. That, that, is a, that is a focus prayer. And then the feature for the future is that we entrust the Lord with the outcome. Let me talk about the outcome. The best for you have not, has, has not even taken place yet. The, the, the best blessing for you has not even taken place yet. The outcome God has in his hands. The outcome, you're going to shout. The outcome, you're going to praise him. The outcome, you're going to thank him. The outcome is when Jesus finally completes what he started. And I want you to have hope in the Lord. That in Psalm 31, in Psalm 23, and, and, and all the other known Psalms, Psalm 62, excuse me, God is at work. So the disciples came to Jesus and said, will you teach us how to pray? He said, yeah. He gave him a model prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let me start with that. He's hollow. Thy kingdom come, come quickly. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day one day at a time, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Don't bring us to the brink of testing you. 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Amen. Model prayer. Saying, Lord, take control of my life. Take over my life. Don't leave me to myself. I'll mess up again. It's a model prayer. And, and when we begin to look at that word, here's what we see. We see us reaching out to God for help, for healing, and for holiness. And when God heals us, we're healed. There's healings that have taken place in my life. I'll never go back because the Lord put his hand on me. Praise his name. So faith says, praise him up front for what he's going to do. And that is, that is a common communicator to God that you trust him. I know I'm coming out of this. Thank you for the mountains, the valleys. Thank you for the storms you brought me through. Jesus is in total control. We love you. Have a great day. Thank you.